Here we go, 4.6 metallic structures. Where are we going to look at? Ta-da, metals. Now, the important thing to remember about metallic structures is that when we talk metallic bonding, it's like a sea of mobile electrons. Now, metals consist of just a giant structure of atoms, kind of like both of these pictures here, or just all the atoms kind of put together. Now, these valence electrons, or these free electrons from the outer, they form the outer shell of every metal atom. And there's a freedom of movement. That's why we say a sea of mobile electrons. And this freedom of movement allows it to conduct heat, allows it to conduct electricity, and is the reason behind the malleability. Okay, so we can see here's the kernel, which is the nucleus, as well as all the inner electrons. And these mobile ones that can move are just the valence electrons. Alright, say it with me. C of mobile electrons. Say it again. C of mobile electrons. Metallic bonding is a C of mobile electrons. Memorize it, know it, be able to say it in your sleep. All right, so one other thing about metals that we're going to kind of talk about now are alloys. Right? And alloy is when we have mixed metals or a solution of metals. It's actually a solid solution. And some examples of alloys, steel, there's iron and carbon, solder, lead, and tin, or nowadays silver and tin. The, uh, if you have copper pipes in your house, the copper pipes are connected by solder. Older ones had lead, not allowed to use that anymore because it's toxic. The newer will have silver and tin. And another example oops, was brass, which is an alloy of copper and zinc. All right, question time. What's the phrase you need to memorize? I hope you just said C of mobile electrons. All right, for each of the following, choose one. Metals are you know, good or poor. Circle the correct, circle the correct, circle the correct one. If you cannot answer these, go back and watch the video again. All right, that was nice, short, and sweet. I will see you guys at school.